mateys. I'm sailing the seven seas. I'm a pirate even. Check this out. I've got bling. <laughs> Check this out. This is great. Yeah, I want to go play something. Come on, follow me. And don't check out my buttocks on the way over there, please. Thank you. Okay, today, what am I doing? Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to um, call this one Rudiments 301. It's a little bit more advanced. And uh, we're going to deal with what I call evenness of stroke. And I don't mean evenness of stroke as far as height, even though you could do that. I'm talking about things I see a lot now, and it, it's been around a long time, though, in, you know, core and indoor and all of that. And it's taking a simple pattern, such as 16th notes, and simply changing the sticking. And, you know, it's always at a high rate of speed. And, and it simply changes the sticking, and the goal is to make it all sound the same, so where if you're listening to it, you don't realize the sticking has changed from, say, a single stroke to a double stroke to some type of paradiddle to something like this. So I'm just going to give some advice on how to, to, you know, kind of accomplish that, even though I'm not saying that I know how to do that. <laughs> okay. You could do an exercise. That was my phone. Don't mind it. I, I, would, I, do, th I would do things like this. This is what I normally do. I do, uh, like four counts of uh, single strokes uh, at 16th, four counts of double stroke 16th, and then four counts of paradiddles, like... Uh, don't have to necessarily accent anything. You know, if you want to, you can. If you're, if you're doing something like um, uh, flam taps, you could do the same thing with changing the sticking, but keeping the general pattern the same. Um, six tuplets the same way. Six tuples faster, they love to go, uh, that sort of thing. Or, I think, right? That was horrible, by the way. That was really horrible. Anything that you put into a straight line pattern, you know, whether, whether, you, know, whether you call it 16th, uh, notes, you know, four groups of sixteenth, or six tuplets, or whatever. When you when you have no meter, no four four, and all that other stuff, it's just straight. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just right, left, right, left, right, left, and you just do it any way you want. You know. getting used to. I threw, um, I think he's called like Chinese rolls or something. One, two, three, one, two. I think my, my, my threes sounded a little weird. Which is why you do things like that, because you notice that something is not sounding right. And the best thing to do is, you know, either record yourself or get in a mirror and look at what's going on. I suspect at what I was playing just then, the, you know, uh, at whatever height, when I went to threes, my height lowered some. And it caused them to tighten up. And that's why my threes didn't sound as even as the rest of what's going on. Okay? This is... Uh, Something that is good to practice 
for any rudiment. Of course, uh, you know, when you, when you do your single stroke, it's all about evenness. When you do a long one, about evenness. Paradiddles. about evenness in, in rudiments, about control, controlling the rudiment from slow to fast to slow. And the reason why they're done slow to fast to slow is because music has a range of tempos from slow to fast to slow. Also, you're not going to like this. You need to practice it. Pianissimo. stuff like that it just helps overall in your playing and this is when you're just practicing by yourself having fun fooling around just like I was so I even had fun with that and I learned a couple of things that I can work on and I learned that uh, this is kind of heavy this get up and I learned that I really like myself as a pirate I think I am going to go to the first pirate ball I see. I'm going to dance the night away. I'm just going to dance. Oh, one other thing. When you're playing, they always talk about playing through the head when you do all this. Okay? Sure. Play through the head. Play through the head. Always try to play through the head. The best way to play through the head. <laughs> yeah. Now I've played through the head. <laughs> and, guess what? <laughs> That's a sharp knife, folks. Guess I gotta buy a bottom head too now. Oh well. Off to the pirate ball, folks. Remember, have fun, it's just drums. Thank you for watching. <laughs>